All right, so in this simple tutorial, I'll show you how to write a crawler using Scrappy to scrape and parse Craigslist nonprofit jobs in San Francisco and store the data to a CSV file. If you don't have any experience with Scrappy, start by reading this tutorial. Also, I assume that you're familiar with XPath. If not, please read the XPath basic tutorial on W3 Schools. And also, I'll be using Notepad++ to write the scripts. So you want to start by downloading and installing Scrappy and all its dependencies. And you can do that using the easy install. And if you're using Windows, make sure you grab all the uh, dependencies here. So once installed, open your terminal. and create a Scrappy project by navigating to the directory you'd like to store your project in. And then you want to run the following command. So Scrappy start project, and then you just need to name your project. So I'm just going to name it Craigslist sample. And let me go ahead and open up that directory. So this will create the following folders and files, and we'll focus on the items.py file, and we'll be adding a spider to the spiders folder. All right, so taking a look at Craigslist, we want to grab the job title and then also the URL. And so these fields will be contained within the item class, which need to be added to the items.py file. So I'm going to edit this with Notepad++. So you want to edit the items.py file to define the fields, which are title and link, that you want contained with the item. So since we want the post title and subsequent URL, I'm going to go ahead and add title equals field. link field and I'm gonna go ahead and save that and actually the tabbing is messed up there I can remove the pass there okay I'll go ahead and save that Okay, so next we need to create the spider, and we will be using the base spider class. This is the simplest spider, and all other spiders are inherited from it. So go ahead and create a new file in Notepad++, and then just save it as test.py in the spiders directory. And so the spider defines the initial URL, which in our case, this URL here. It also defines how to follow links and pagination, which is not necessary in our case because we're just going to scrape the first page. And then it defines how to extract and parse the fields, which we defined above in the items.py file. And the spider must define three attributes. So it needs to define the name which is the spider's unique identifier. The start URLs, which are the URLs the spider begins crawling at, and that's that same URL I just showed you. And then it also needs to define the parsing method, which is dependent on XPath. All right, so let me go ahead and type this in from spider. So you want to start with the spider subclass. So give it a name. So I'm just going to call it my spider. And then we need to add the required attributes. So again, the name is the spider's unique identifier. So 
So I'm just going to call it Craig. Oops. Can't type today. Need to put in the allowed domains. That's just going to be Craigslist.org. And then the second required attribute is the start URLs. And again, that's just this URL here. And then the third attribute is for the parsing method. So we write our own function for that. We need to use HTML XPath selector. This is the beginning part of the X path. Put in a for loop. Titles will be the variable. So then I am going to pull title. Again, here's the X path to pull the text for the title. And then link. So here's the X path. Pull the length, href. And so I'm just going to go ahead and print this to the screen. Or I'm sorry, output it to the screen. Go ahead and save that. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now, so just to test it out. So I'm going to go to the root directory of the Scrappy project, which is Craigslist sample. Oops. And then to run it, I need to enter the following command, Scrappy crawl, and then the name of the unique identifier for the spider, which is Craig. So this is giving me an error. Looks like I probably didn't put a semicolon. I'm sorry, a colon, All right? Save that, rerun it. Okay, now there is something wrong with the X path. Let me just look at this real quick. Ah. I really cannot type right now. All right, so that outputted everything to the screen. Okay, so now we want to add in dictionaries. So the item objects defined above, the title and link, are simply custom dicks. And so you want to use the standard dict syntax to return the extracted data inside the item objects. So let me go back to the spider here. Okay, so items is gonna be the dict.
reference statements and I will return oops, items. Go ahead and save that. Let me just look at this over real quick just to make sure I do everything right. Okay. Looks like it. So let me go ahead and try and run this again. Problem with the name here. Craigslist sample item. Not spelled right. Let me check the items. Uh, go ahead and run that again. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to be able to import that. Okay, that should run now. All right, and there we go. And it output it to the screen. Okay, so now we want to store the data. So to do that, all we need to do is put an output items.csv. Run that again. There's our CSV file. Pop that open, and there's our data. All right, so you can visit my blog for more information, and you can also download the source code there. And thanks for watching.